Hi guys, welcome back to Drum Dog, and this week it's time for our blind test kit results. Okay, so in last week's video, we did a blind sound test between this drum kit and this drum kit, and we asked if you could tell the difference, and could you spot which kit was worth four times the price of the other one? <laughs> if you missed that, watch it in the link below, or up here, or wherever I'm, wherever I'm gonna put it in the edit. Um, but today is the results, is the results show. Well, I, before before we kick into the results, I'm actually I've always been pleasantly surprised by how great that stage custom sounds. Well, that's what triggered the video idea. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and in I I love how the maple sounds, and no matter the results of this and how it kind of weighs out, I'm definitely keeping the maple because I love the kit. But I think this whole question comes down to that curve of diminishing returns. Mm -hmm. That if you buy a kit for two hundred pounds and then you buy a kit for 700 pounds, it is that price difference in sound. And you hear that sound, it does sound more than twice as good. But when you go from 700 to three grand, you're so much up that curve of diminishing returns that no, it doesn't sound four times better. It's the, you know, the extra 10%, not the extra 50%. So it is, um, it's an interesting one. And they're not as mass made, are they? Yeah. The more expensive ones are not as mass made. You can't yeah. churn them out. So last week you heard each kit, but you couldn't see them. Here are the results with the visuals.
So there you go. How many of you guys got it right? How many of you got it the wrong way around and weren't expecting it to be what it was? I think if it were a blind test on myself, obviously I know these kits quite well because I play them often, but I honestly think I would have struggled. I, I think if they were kits that were alien to me and someone said kit A, kit B, it, it wasn't obvious. I don't think I could say, oh yeah, come on, that's, that's obviously this one. I'm sure that people will say it was. But without a doubt. And, and I was one of those people, but I was the one who was in the, you know, shouting to you the tones back when we were trying to get the toning right. So the tuning. So do, do you think it was a dramatic difference then? How, I, I, I didn't do the blind test because I was there doing the tunings yeah, of both kits. Yeah, but neither kits. did I. But it, I, this, it's more rounder and warmer and... and the, the maple. The maple, where that has more... It's tack, that sharp attack yeah, for me. Yeah. But I knew which kit... So my, I knew which kit. Well, I was, I was watching. Biased. I was watching you play it. <laughs> I knew. I knew. But um, there is, if you are going to spend money on a kit to do proper paid sessions with, you know, if you hadn't heard that one, would you be happy with that one? So I, I yeah. once bought a, a brand new kit. I bought a, 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 a Janista, a new Premier Janista that I really liked. Put it on a set, and the day before, I'd played in a previous band at the same festival with my old APK. 500 pound premier kit the day before and you came up to me it's one of the first days i met you and said oh your kit sounded lovely and i was like yeah 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 i spent a bit that's my new went, oh no yesterday's one I was <laughs> did like, I? Yeah, I was like i had no Shit. idea <laughs> <laughs> sorry i stitched you up right you there, did. didn't i you did it was like it was half this one and half like this apk that i had since school um still sounds great still sounds great yeah but i had just spent money on a new Inista. was that home farm home farm festival yeah oh wow Oh, sorry, man. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> but only goes to show, doesn't it? Well, you could have returned the favour today. You know? <laughs> that maple sounds rubbish, mate. <laughs> yeah, sell it to me. <laughs> well, there you go. Now, no matter how you guys voted, whether you preferred the maple or the Birch Stage Custom, I think it's just preference. And some of you guys will like that high attack thing instead of the kind of warmer round thing. And at the end of the day, they both are good sounding kits. There is no right and wrong answer when it comes down to taste of sound. But I think this has been a really interesting way to ask the question, does a professional drummer need that professional price tag kit? And I think especially for gigs, I'm gonna say no. I think any, I think, uh, well, any level, I think at most levels you could turn up with a kit sounding like that and no one would bat an eyelid. They'd say, hey man, that sounds great. Okay. What you gonna... disagree, don't you? No, I do. I agree with you. Oh, okay. I agree with you. What I'm going to do now though is if you are planning to buy an expensive drum kit and your partner is watching this, we're going to do an <laughs> alternate ending to help you guys out. Yes, of course you should buy the more expensive drum kit. It's going to help your career. Everyone will laugh if you turn up with something cheap. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, all that said, I'm definitely not selling the maple and I love it. So, uh, you know, swings and roundabouts. Cool. Well, we hope you like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you again in the next one.